Hey guys, so it's the day after Project Long Live, and well, Val and I are going to video chat while we watch Death Ellis Part 2. Shoot. Maybe? Oh, there's Val! I can't see you. I can see you. I can't see me in the little box down here. Well, is your webcam on? Oh, well, that might have something to do with it. <gasps> there it is. Yay! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Keep the video on. <laughs> I cannot find Alex, so I had to switch to Ruth. Yeah. I don't know where you went. Yep, that kind of looks, well yeah, that looks like Fred. Huh? That looks like Fred, just with a black front. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to watch. I'm so excited. Me too. Except I turned on, or it got to the main menu and it started playing that like really slow music and showing Snape walking and I'm like, I don't know if I can do this. Uh, I was like walking away. At first I put the Blu-ray in. Yeah. And I was like, why isn't it loading? <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I turned on and I was like, nope. And I started like walking away. I was like, I can't even do this. <laughs> I can't even do this. Yeah. Blu-rays are oh, so I'm low. Mine's going. Yeah. <coughs> I can see Dumbledore's tomb. Uh, we're like 30 seconds apart, but whatever. Why, what do you see? What do you see? And then you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. See, this is what Potter nerds do when we can't be together. What? I said, this is what Potter nerds do when we can't be together. <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I remember sitting in the theater at this part and just being like, oh god, this is gonna be bad. Yeah. Part, which well, hang on. Oh, I I love that part because Ginny steps in front of him. Anyway, <laughs> we got to this really intense part, and 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 then Val disappeared. Just bloop bloop bloop. Skype disappeared, and she's gone. And now I have to face the end of this movie alone. I can't do it. I can't do it. As it happens, Mrs. Filch, you are right for this most opportune. If you would, I would like to... Anyway, like she's not even... I don't know. Is she texting me? I think Val just, like, disappeared. Oh, this movie's gonna make me cry. So anyway, um, another thing I posted as my status on Facebook. Just to fill some time till Val comes back. Um, my status on Facebook is I can't believe that at this moment seven years ago I was bawling my head off after being up all night reading Haplo Prince for the first time. It's funny to think back how powerful the shock was that Snape killed Dumbledore and all the crazy rumors that followed, theories that followed. 
Like, seriously, you guys, it's been seven years since Half Blood came out, and that's just insane. Like, I remember, I was, I had to go babysit that morning at like 7:30, and just as my ride pulled up to ba go babysit, Snape killed Dumbledore, and I was like, like, like seriously, the chapter ends with him saying about a cadavera, and and she pulls up outside, and I'm like. I can't leave now. I, I can't leave right now. Snape just killed Dumbledore. So I had to like babysit for a whole hour and then come back and finish the book. It was like the longest hour of my life. <laughs> Boom! <gasps> she's back! Yay! I was so scared. I'm like, she just disappeared. Oh, I... Are you still watching? Yeah, uh oh, Shannon. Oh no. This is usually where it starts. <laughs> yep. It's that freaking music. Yeah, it's the music, really. I just remember sitting in the theater and I'm just bawling, just like, <gasps> and she says that, and I'm like, <sighs> that's funny though. <laughs> like this had to have been one of the most awkward movies to watch because you're just like, <laughs> you know what I watched the other day? Huh? I watched your reaction to the, the trailer. trailer. Yeah. See, and it's so, like, I don't know if it's egocentric or whatever, but, like, if I watch that video, I cry. Like, it, I cannot watch that video without crying. Because, I like, watching that video, I remember sitting there I and... I crying, too. It's okay. Yeah. I watched it, and, I'm like, and Emily was sitting next to me, and she's like, you're, you're worse than me, and I'm like, it happened. Yeah, but I don't cry about like One Direction. I cry about Harry Potter, okay? <laughs> yeah, because just watching that video takes you back and like I remember sitting there and seeing all that for the first time and yeah. It's obvious, isn't it? Yeah. Harry Potter, you listen to me right now. <laughs> I was like, okay, she's upset. And it's like, oh, dang. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. What was I just saying? I cannot find Alex, so I had to switch to Ruth. Yeah. I don't know where you went. Yeah, well, uh, Shannon, you're a doorknob. You, uh, plugged it in to charge overnight. Like, I walk out here to grab my apple, and I look over, I'm like, yep, I remember doing that last night. <laughs> Doorknob. Deathly Hallows Part 2's over, and, uh, yeah. It was really weird, because, like, um, for some reason my internet's being really crappy, and it stopped working, like, right at... Like, right as Ron Hermione walk into the Great Hall holding hands, and, or no, it was right after that, like, right before Harry breaks the Elder Wand, and, uh, and, like, it's funny because that, like, around that part is where Val and I both started bawling the hardest, like, the 19 years later made her ball really bad, and then, for me, it's always that part when the three of them are standing there, like, Hermione walks over and, ta and Harry takes her hand and then Ron t walks over and Hermione takes his hand and like you can just see on their faces just like the relief and the the happiness and the wonder that they're all three still there and still you know okay after everything they've been through in the last seven years it's just they're just they're still there you know and it just god that part just kills me every time so 
because I mean I I know I mean I would feel the same way I if it was me and two of my best friends and we've been through all that I mean and you come to the end you would just you would have to look at each other and just be like you know I'm so happy you know I'm so relieved so anyway I'm gonna I don't know just chill out because it's my day off I love days off I love them so much because it's hot outside so I'm just gonna hang out here in my air conditioning <laughs> so uh yeah Anywho, so, um, but Val and I were talking about, um, cause Val is pregnant, I think she's announced that on her YouTube channel, but, um, so we were talking about, you know, if she has a little boy, she's gonna, she has a specific name picked out, I don't know if, if she shared that, so I'll just, but, um, and I was saying, you know, how amazing it would be, you know, when your little boy comes up to you and says, Mommy, why did you name me this? And I told her, you know, you can tell him all these wonderful stories about Harry Potter and why she named him, you know, the name she did. And, you know, and I was telling her if I ever did have kids, which um, I told her, you know, handing my child Sorcerer's Stone, the book, I think I'd probably just start bawling because in my head I'd see my little child, you know, on the Hogwarts Express leaving the station, you know, as I hand them that book because that's, I mean, that's how it feels. Every time I pick up Sorcerer's Stone, it's like, okay, I'm going home, you know. Like that Shannon Labrie song, I put it on the um, playlist for yesterday. Uh, it's one of my favorite Potter related songs calls me home and I mean listening to that song it's seriously it's how I feel every time I pick up a Potter book um, this is just it talks about you know it calls me home to to start again to breathe again just to you know just to get away to feel like I'm coming home you know and and that's how I feel every time I pick up a Potter book and um, because it's just, I don't know. And see, that's another thing. Um, why every time I watch Deathly Hollows Part 2, why I bawl when I see Hogwarts getting destroyed. Because <clears throat> even though, you know, book to movie differences are big and whatever. Seeing that castle destroyed, it feels like I'm watching my house, my house I've lived in my whole life, burned to the ground, you know, it's just, because it, for me, I mean, I've been going to Hogwarts for so many years now, it, it does feel like home, and to see it destroyed on the big screen is just, it's heartbreaking, like, the first thing to ever make me cry when I watched the trailer for Deathly Hallows Part 2 was seeing the Quidditch pitch on fire and crumbling that was just like oh my God. wow that really really hurts but um so anyway I just, I've gone on long enough about Potter and what a big nerd I am and I mean even though I know even though a lot of you probably wouldn't admit it to anyone else you feel the same way so uh I'll just admit it for all of you guys who are too chicken to admit it so Alright, I'll see you guys later.